Reddit users who have won sweepstakes, the car you see sitting in the mall, or a lifetime supply of an item. What were some of the unexpected things that took place due to your winning? Dude in my high school won a year's supply of Dr. Pepper, like clockwork, every month, they'd turn up and drop off a crate full of cans. Apparently by the second month, he was sick of it, so he started bringing them to school and selling them for slightly less than the shop by the school was selling them for. Made a tidy profit, was able to buy himself an Xbox 360 with some of his earnings. I do remember one particularly funny moment. A teacher saw him receiving money off another kid, then producing a second backpack from under his desk. Went crazy thinking he was dealing drugs in her class, only to open his bag and find about 20 cans of Dr. Pepper. That's nice that he made that much, I could see many schools not wanting him to sell it. My family won a year's supply of dibs, the ice cream. We had too much, so we threw a neighborhood party and gave them out. I won the one month supply way back when. I got coupons for 4 free tubs, then they were on sale B1G1 free and the store let me get 8. I didn't have room in my freezer for them all so I took them to my parents whom have a freestanding freezer and they were gone in 2 weeks. I got like 3 little nuggets, lol. When I was a kid back in 2004 I entered a bionicle sweepstakes. I forgot about it and 2 years later a huge box appeared at my front door and inside was every bionicle set ever made at that time. Needless to say I was never more excited in my life. I am so jealous. Has anyone ever won one of those cars from the mall that are on display and that require you to give your personal information to enter the raffle to win that car? Or is it just a smart way to collect a lot of personal information? I once entered that car raffle at the mall in my younger days and in a few weeks after that I started seeing a lot of junk mail. Never again. I won a Jeep Wrangler in a soda contest. What I didn't realize is that 3 other people won as well. They had us all pick a random key and whoever had the key that started the car got to keep it. My key didn't work so they gave me a remote control car instead. I would have all the rage. I won a wedding. I entered a contest on the local news station 50 words or less tell us why you should win type thing. Thought nothing more of it until I was called a month later and asked to come in for an interview. We won the largest wedding package at the local renaissance fair, a reception at a nearby hotel. Three night honeymoon at a bed and breakfast made to look like a castle, and a bunch of gift certificates as wedding gifts. They also had an award winning pastry chef make our cake which was this huge castle cake. Weirdest thing about it is that they had a set date the wedding had to be held so we got just about a month's notice to organize everything. I also wasn't expecting all the taxes we had to pay on every ring. I won a year's supply of Buffalo Wild Wings for being one of the first 50, I think, customers at a new location. I got a voucher book with 52 vouchers for 6 wings with the weekly valid dates on each voucher. If I missed a week that voucher was no longer valid. I got a free coffee for life card from a Turkish coffee joint in Melbourne. They awarded it to the first customer for that month. Every month. Just one condition. You have to visit at least once a week to claim your free coffee or the card would be invalid. I was a tourist. I was about to leave in 4 days. Frick that crap. In the late 90s I went through a phase where I entered every internet contest I could find. I had a separate email address for the spam, which I monitored once per day in case I won something, and I gave a fake mailing address to avoid all the junk mail. I won something at least once a week, mostly free movie passes, restaurant gift certificates, Starbucks gift cards, etc. My biggest win was an all expenses paid trip for two to Montreal and Quebec City. That was awesome, because I was about 25 and poor, and got to bring my girlfriend somewhere nice. I won a couple tickets to a Rolling Stones concert in Red Rocks Ampahita near Denver one time several years ago from a local radio station. They called me about an hour before the show was starting. I lived in Lincoln, Nebraska at the time. What a douche move. Not me, my father, buys a bunch of raffle tickets to support a local fundraiser and wins a minivan. He has no use for a minivan, moans about the hassle. Supplying dealer offers cash value so he took that and split the money with the organization he was trying to support by buying the raffle tickets in the first place. Your father is a good person. 
I enter a lot of contest sweeps and have had some okay wins over the last 30 years. Nothing astonishing, yet, one of the stranger ones was supposed to be an autographed Muhammad Ali boxing glove. They notified me by mail that I won, had to fill out a ton of paperwork and return it within 3 days. Months went by and no word. I wrote to the company that was administrating. No response. So I emailed the sponsor and they said they were having trouble locating the prize and they would be in contact before the end of week. This is like 6 months after the contest ended. Apparently, whatever company was supposed to be fulfilling the prizes just up and disappeared. The sponsor offered a $500 Montgomery Ward gift voucher in lieu of the glove, which I accepted. In the meantime, MW announced it was going out of business and thought for sure I was going to get screwed. Two months later FedEx arrived with a voucher like the old school carbon triplicate thing that I had to take to the store manager and use all at once or forfeit the remainder. I rushed out that night to use it and stuff was 70% off. I went wild at Montgomery Ward, lol. It went really far, late 90s. I scored a 40 inches TV, VCR DVD combo, CD player for the car, CD stereo for the house, a boombox for my mother, a bunch of tools for my father, a popcorn popper, a sony dream machine and cd alarm clock, some lamps, a living room table set, an exercise bike and some other small stuff, it was amazing, they had a scratch and dent section that I basically cleared out, I was within a dollar of the $500 when all was said and done, I was the star of the store that night, lol, I literally got whatever they had, left, that I wanted, the next week, FedEx showed up with another $500 voucher. I was sure they made a mistake so I called and they said that it was already issued and they didn't want it back. I already cleared out the store from the last week when the manager told me that it could also be used in their auto service center. So I got new tires that I needed for my car. It was awesome. It wasn't a huge win, but it went really far. Much better than the Muhammad Ali glove. That I would have given to my father anyway. Lol. During the NFL playoffs 5 or so years ago I won a couch in one of those raffles you see at grocery stores. I expected a big leather couch like the picture I saw when filling out the little form we threw in the box. Turns out that picture was unrelated and an inflatable couch arrived in the mail a few days later. I don't recall what happened but it wouldn't hold air as of the morning after the Super Bowl. My cousin once won a MN Vikings beer fridge. The photo was of a big kajerator with taps and a ton of storage all decked out with Vikings memorabilia. When it was delivered it turned out to be one of those $5 Trader Joe's bag coolers with a Vikings logo on it. One of our local Uber drivers here in OKC won his car from the casino in Norman. So the big win became his job. Pretty sure it's a 2016 Lexus. Very nice car very cool. He said he put his name in the box and went to the poker tables. Never thought twice about it and heard his name over the loudspeaker. They gave him a room for the night and let him drive it away the next morning. He jokes they knew he was too drunk to drive it out of there that night. I swear I get him as a driver at least 2-3 times a month. My family won a year supply of soda in a raffle. They average 3 sodas per day for 365 days and drop them all off at your house at once. Seeing as we had nowhere to put them we just kept throwing parties until they were gone. My friend won a year supply of LaCroix. She has a mountain of cases of various flavors in her tiny apartment, like 45 cases. I think they also averaged it at 3 cans per day. Not really unexpected but part of winning is taxes. I won a year supply of gas from Texaco in the late 90s. What they sent was a credit card with an $800 credit on it. The cool thing was that it did not have to be used on gas, but it could be used on anything in the store as well. I was buying tons of beer for myself and friends for a few months. I got a $1099 for the $800 and had to pay taxes on it. Still worth it. On a semi-related note if you can prove gambling losses you can write them off on your taxes. I know a guy who won a lifetime supply of General Mills cereal as a kid in the 90s. By the time he was 16 around 2010 his parents called to ask if they could stop sending so many as no one eats 5 boxes of cereal a week. They flat out told them no their only options are opt out completely or continue by the original rules. It's 2017 now and his family are constantly donating it. Feeding it to the dog. Feeding birds. Etc. 
They give it away all the time. For Christmas I got 25 boxes of cereal from them. I won 25 pounds of M and MS a few months ago and have gained 15 pounds. A friend in high school won a year's supply of Mars bars I think it was about 3 a day so they delivered a half pallet to his house. Parents rationed them and the rest was delicious history. My dream. When I was about 7, my folks split and we went to live with mom's folks. Shortly after, I won a puppy at the grand opening of an appliance store, but grandparents said no, so instead I was given a record album. Wayne Barry plays the accordion. I'm 57, still bitter. Worst trade deal in the history of trade deals, maybe ever. I tweeted at Teen Vogue the link to my favorite website and they emailed me and said I won an iPad. I thought it was fake, but I had my dad check it out and it came to my door. I was 13 and discovered a lot of the internet, lost a lot of sleep, but my parents weren't the type to give a young teen a cell phone, so I think I owe my social life to that thing. I cracked the screen after like 2 months, but I still have it 7 years later. When I was really little I filled out a form for free Christmas toys you could win 5 toys of your choice from the local department store, but you had to pick the toys in advance. I won and my mom picked up everything without me knowing about it and I got to open it all under the tree. Years later an employee told me that it's not randomly chosen, they just pick the cheapest list. I won because I was cheap. I won tickets to a 311 concert in like 1998. When 311 was still a thing, it was when the radio used to do things like the 25th caller wins 2 tickets to blah blah blah. A funny side anecdote, when I got home from the concert I called the DJ I won them from and thanked him. 20 years later I heard him on another station and called him. He remembered me. He said he's given away literally thousands of concert tickets away but I was the only one who ever called back to say thank you. You're a liar, because at most it would be 19 years. Not fooling me, but that's really cool you thanked him. I won concert tickets worth £500 but my mum wouldn't let me go. I'd been to concerts on my own before so I really can't understand why. Me and a buddy waited in line for 3 hours, outside, in the middle of November at the grand opening of a Moe's and got free burritos for a year. Worth it, it was as rad as it sounds. One $500 gift card to Panda Express at a local mall. Met with a lady who handed it over and congratulated me. Not a huge fan of Panda, so I didn't get a chance to use the card until months later. Got to the register to pay with the gift card and the teller said the card has a zero balance. Didn't want to hold up the line so I paid cash. Still had the number from the lady that gave me the card. Called and it was disconnected. Easy come, easy go. I'm starting to think that you didn't actually win a gift card, it was a fake giveaway so they could take a bunch of people's personal information and send them ads. I won a car from GameStop, I wasn't the first person that they tried to call, apparently they can't leave a message and if you don't pick up the phone after a few attempts they move on to the next person. I was number 11. I won a snowmobile in a radio contest. We were at a bar, and had no idea about the contest. It had been on for months and people had entered hundreds of times. They called my name and I had to ask what I'd won live on air. People were furious. Guy offered me $3000 on the spot. I said no. Drove it around my yard in the dirt for a few weeks. Realized I've never actually go snowmobiling. And sold it for $3500. They also gave me a $500 gift certificate for a snowboard shop, which was awesome. But turned out that was supposed to be the runner up prize but I had already spent it. My mom won a year's supply of gas back in the 90s. In reality it was $10 a week. Gas was less than a dollar a gallon back then, on a voucher that had to be used at one of three specific gas stations in the city we lived in. Worth it. A friend's mom is what she calls a sweeper so she signs up for every sweepstakes they can and she uses every single person in the smilly to apply for one which gives multiple entries without breaking rules. My friend said it's cool because thieve won free vacations and big prizes but on the downside they get loads of spam mail, digital and physical, and also have an ungodly amount of travel or sample size products the companies send. If they aren't using the travel size products, 
they might consider donating them to the local homeless shelter or a local non-profit helping the homeless. Being able to get really clean means a lot and can help when preparing for a job interview colon. I put my parents down for a vacation trip when I was really young. They never knew until they won it but then they had to decline because they couldn't afford the plane ticket which wasn't included. That's what they told me anyway don't know if it was true. They said they really appreciated it but next time to not put down mommy and daddy's info without them knowing. Haha. <laughs> Probably a timeshare come on. A friend of mine won an Xbox One in a Pepsi contest. I didn't believe him when he told me, but sure enough, he won. He actually collects the special edition consoles, so this was his second or third Xbox One and his 13th Xbox. He has a lot of Xbox 360s. It never got opened or used, so I bought it off of him for my little brother's birthdays. Also one time, I won an iPad after being entered into a draw after getting a quote for car insurance. Again, upon hearing of my winning, I assumed it was fake, mainly because I didn't see the fine print about being entered into a draw for the iPad. That was the one and only thing I've ever won in my life. Second, I'd like to pronounce this as to word. Oh dear god in heaven, this is a long time ago. I was 17. I am really old now. My girlfriend begs me to go to the car dealership with her mom. Mom had won a radio contest where 100 people go to a dealership and one person's name is pulled out of a box for a car. Mom won. The long version of the story you learn that this isn't as good of a thing as it could be. Dad was abusive drunk. The dealership told her to pick any car on the lot. Just pick a car. Mom pays the tax and she owns it outright. Just like that. Holy crap that sounds awesome dang. I retweeted a random tweet of StubHubs and won a $500 gift card from them. I still have a part of it I'm planning on getting Red Sox tickets with. Man, I would love to win that. I won a vacation to Europe sponsored by Adventures by Disney and a $5,000 Ailes gift card from a Cinderella sweeps that went on when the movie came out in 2015. Maybe I shouldn't have been surprised, but the most unexpected thing was how amazing and accommodating Disney was. You would think as a prize winner you would be limited to very inflexible trip dates, the cheapest possible flights, etc. Not at all. Disney was every bit as customer service oriented and warm as if we had actually paid like most other people. We got the trip dates we wanted, 1.5 years after we won, and direct flights. They even were happy to fly us out of a different airport, at no cost, after we decided to add on to the 7 day trip by going to another country on our own. Really an awesome company, perhaps one of their goals was to gain a future customer, and they may very well have. If nothing else, Disney is really obsessed with looking good. My little brother won a basketball hoop from an Acme when he was like 6 or 7. It was a drawing and we wanted to because full court. Well my mother gave it away and kept our crappy one instead of the brand new one. She gave it to some kid down the street my brother was friends with. I was told like 10 years later that the kid used to go around bragging he did a slam dunk in the exact hoop to win it but my brother's friends shut him down saying how Matt won it in a contest. I'm so skeptical about winning things nowadays, I probably wouldn't believe it and turn it down. I won a week's holiday after doing a survey at the supermarket. They had to call me 4 times before they could convince me it was genuine and not just a sales trick. When I was 14 the Red Hot Chili Peppers Californication was released. The top 40 countdown radio program held a competition where 3 people were to ring up and give their best fake orgasm live on the radio. The high pitched moaning of a 14 year old boy seemed to win them over. Mum drove me to the studio to claim my prize. Never did tell her how I won it. The prize was the full discography of RHCP. That's how I became a fan. This is gold. I won a year's supply of Mountain Dew in university. Up to that point, I only ever drank it as a change or rare treat it was only a K at the best of times. 624 cans. 52 12 packs. I mixed it with every kind of booze known to man. I couldn't give it away after a couple months. It ate the entire storage space in the house I was renting. I gave away as much as I drank and finally after about 6 months it was gone. That was 1997-8. I tried some Mountain Dew last year. Nope. Still can't drink the stuff. 
I think if I got that I would just sell it to the guy I know who drinks a few bottles a day. That would be 208 pounds where I live. So I reckon I could get 150 pounds from him for it. Back 5 years now the AOR was a fairly new console and I saw the competition being hosted by a game that it would have to win one so I figure, what's the worst that could happen? I forget about it and a few weeks later I get an email from what said was the game and said I won. The thing was it looked super unofficial, plain blank white email with normal text, the opposite of what I expected for winning a console. I emailed them back asking for some confirmation and I got an email with a picture of the dev team holding a sign that said congratulations armdies. A week later it arrives in the mail with a letter written by the devs and signed by all of them. I won tickets to see Taylor Swift on Ellen in 2012, and I probably could have gone here they told me more than 2 days in advance, because you know, I live in Colorado, not California. Entered a friend in one of the car in the mall ones as a joke. Fast forward a few months and his parents get a call. They won a prize, not the car but a cruise to the Caribbean. With one way affair. We know it was from that sweepstakes because I made up a wife for him and they specifically asked for them both. Friends parents ended up finding out it was a giant scam to get you down for timeshare presentations through some research. Weird contest they never went on the trip so I just have this lame ending. That's how those car scams work. Everyone who entered won that cruise. One free tombstone pizza for a year from a Mountain Dew cap. Got 54 coupons for a free tombstone. Only one could be used at a time and a tacky t-shirt. I routinely ate, and still do, pizza once a week but by the end of that year I was so sick of tombstone I was giving the coupons away by the handful. Unforeseen consequence of winning a prize not yet mentioned here. When I was very young, about 6, my family lived in a house with another family. This was the early 80s. They have a son the same age as me and we were really into the He-Man franchise at the time. We planned our Christmas and birthday gifts with our parents and Santa Claus so that we would each receive certain toys. That way, we wouldn't have any doubles and would have more different characters to play with together. The local supermarket held a contest for boys and the grand prize was one of every He-Man toy. Every good guy, bad guy, castle plays it, everything. My friend won and I was very jealous. I recall playing with all the new castles and stuff once or twice. Despite my friend's generosity my jealously got the best of me. I wanted to spite him for winning, so I declared that E-Man was stupid. It was for babies, and I was no longer interested. Friend was a cool guy but I rendered his grand prize worthless. It was probably the first mean thing I ever did. A few years later, I won a Toys R Us prize that ended in total embarrassment for me. But that's another story. Kind of related. I worked at an ice cream shop that gave out one hour all you can eat ice cream coupons for young exemplary students. I thought, wow, that's cool. Then I proceeded to watch this kid freeze his face. In all he probably ate three smallish bowls of ice cream trying to go fast fast fast. He almost lasted 15 minutes. Pretty good deal all around though. The kiddo was very satisfied and it barely cost the store a thing. I was at an air show once and one of the advertisements that popped up on screen was for the military bank USAA. You just had to text a certain word to the phone number on screen and the winner would get to ride in a Rat 6 Texan trainer aircraft. I got a call later that night saying I had one and it was as awesome as I thought it would be. A friend of mine won a year's worth of coffee from Dutch Bros at her company's last Christmas party. Translated to about $1,500 spread across three gift cards. Quite useful for her, as she has a DB coffee at least once a day. My personal best was winning a my charge from a daily drawing on Marlboro's site. I'd never won anything anywhere before and its MSRP is about $30, but I just love that thing. It proved itself again last week when we had a power outage that lasted nearly a day and it kept my phone from dying while I poked around on Reddit. I was at a zoo in some resort once several years ago when I was on vacation in West Virginia. Saw little contests like fill out the info on this sheet and win an ostrich egg. I thought why the heck not, took the sheet. It was a trivia sort of thing where you had to visit the exhibits in the zoo and read about them, then answer the questions on the sheet. I submitted it, not expecting to win because it was a pretty big resort and there seemed to be tons of entries. 
Forgot about it until the last day on vacation when my dad got a call. We drove back over to the zoo and I got the fairly large ostrich egg. Still have it on display. Honestly the coolest souvenir I have from anywhere. You have been visited by the holy doggo. Like and subscribe you magnificent person.